Here's how to set up multi-outs from Native Instruments contact plugin running on Pro Tools. You might want to do this if you want to put each separate piece of a drum kit on separate tracks in the Pro Tools mixer. For this example, I'm using my Robot Dog Drums drum sample library, but the procedure is the same for any contact library in Pro Tools. So create a new track in Pro Tools, make it a stereo instrument track, we'll name it Robot Dog Drums, hit create. Now insert on that track, multi-channel plugin, instrument, contact stereo. Before you load any library, go to the outputs panel, go to presets, factory, select stereo 16x. Definitely go with stereo because some contact libraries crash with mono outputs. Now this is very important. Go to presets again and save current output section state as default for all formats or AAX plugin would work. We're just gonna go with all formats. Now, this is also very important. Save your Pro Tools session and completely quit Pro Tools. Reopen Pro Tools and reopen your project. Now you can finally load your contact library. I'm gonna load Robot Dog Drums Rock right over here. So now Robot Dog Drums is loaded up. It'll work as a stereo instrument. We're gonna go into the mixer. And now that we've selected that output preset and quit Pro Tools and opened it back up, now we can finally go in and select different outputs for each of these mixer channels. You can also just make it easy and select a preset down here. Okay, the next thing to do is to create some audio tracks for those channels to output on. Go up to track, new, we're gonna create five new stereo audio tracks, hit create. Now we can make the input from those audio tracks come in from different channels out of the one contact plugin. Go right here where it says no input. We're going to plugin, contact, robot dog drums. We go to out two. This one we're gonna to go to out three. This one we're gonna to go to out four and so on. You can go ahead and name those tracks if you want to. Last thing to do is to enable input monitoring on each of those tracks. Otherwise you won't hear them coming through. Let's try it out. Kick, snare, toms, cymbals, and then as you can see, everything's coming through a little bit on the room mic channel. The last thing to know is that reverb defaults to the first stereo pair, but if you wanna change that, you can just go into contact, click on this little eye, and then change this output right here to whatever channel you want the reverb to come out on. We're just gonna leave it on out one. So that's pretty much it. Multi-outs from contact and Pro Tools. Hopefully this walkthrough helped, and if you haven't already, check out Robot Dog Drums. Cheers. I sit and think about all of the times that we shared, and I hope you really know how did I cared? Now I'm staring at the clock that's on the wall. Wishing I could turn the hands back. Talk instead about the moon.